Imagine looking up at the night sky tomorrow. You look towards the constellation of Orion just like you always do, but something is different. That famous red star on the hunter's shoulder is burning, burning bright enough to cast shadows on earth at night, bright enough to be seen during the day. This isn't a scene from a science fiction movie. This is a real event waiting to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. We're talking about Betelgeuse, one of the largest and most unstable stars in our galaxy. If you placed it in the centre of our solar system, it would swallow everything. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and it would even reach Jupiter. But lately this monster has been acting strange. Very strange. Remember the great dimming of 2019? The star suddenly lost its brightness. Astronomers around the world panicked. Was this the end? Was the supernova finally beginning? While the star recovered, the data left us with a terrifying realisation. To understand the fate of this cosmic giant, we cannot just look at the surface. We have to look deep inside, where a violent war between gravity and nuclear fusion is taking place. A war that Betelgeuse is destined to lose. Betelgeuse is not just another star in the night sky. It is a cosmic titan, an ageing red supergiant located about 550 to 650 light years away in the constellation of Orion. For thousands of years, humans have looked at this star without realising how extraordinary it truly is. Betelgeuse has already left the normal life of a star behind. It has burned through its hydrogen fuel, inflated to an enormous size, and entered the final, unstable stage of its existence. To understand its scale, imagine our sun next to Betelgeuse. The comparison becomes almost absurd. The sun, which seems massive to us, would look like a tiny spark, barely visible next to Betelgeuse's swollen, boiling surface. Astronomers estimate that Betelgeuse is more than 700 times larger in radius and tens of thousands of times brighter. It is so enormous that light itself takes more than an hour just to travel across its diameter. But size is not the only reason this star is so fascinating. Betelgeuse is pulsating, expanding and contracting like a living, breathing organism massive convection cells, each one larger than the orbit of Mars, rise and fall across its surface, creating chaotic patterns of heat and brightness. These violent motions are a sign that the star is struggling to maintain balance. It's running out of time, and it knows it. Because Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, astronomers have placed it under constant observation. Every wavelength infrared, optical, radio, reveals new clues about what is happening in its outer layers. The star's atmosphere is leaking material into space, forming a huge cloud of dust and gas around it. This stellar wind is another signal that the star is approaching its final chapters. In many ways, Betelgeuse is the perfect laboratory a rare chance to watch a massive star in its dying phase. A phase that usually happens far away, hidden from us, or long after the explosion has already occurred. But Betelgeuse is close, very close. Close enough that when it dies, the entire night sky will change. Betelgeuse is a star living in constant turmoil. Unlike stable stars such as our sun, which burn their fuel in a steady, controlled way, Betelgeuse is fighting a losing battle against its own size. The larger a star becomes, the harder it becomes to maintain balance. Gravity pulls inward, trying to collapse the star, while nuclear fusion pushes outward, trying to keep it inflated. In Betelgeuse, these two forces are no longer equal. They rise and fall in an unpredictable rhythm, 
creating powerful pulsations that ripple through the star like the heartbeat of a dying giant. These pulsations are not gentle. They're violent, dramatic expansions and contractions that change the star's brightness, temperature and shape over months or even weeks. As the outer layers swell outward, they cool and dim. When they collapse again, the star brightens. The scale of these movements is unimaginable. Entire layers of material, each larger than the orbit of Earth, shifting and buckling under immense pressure. Adding to the chaos are enormous convection cells boiling on the surface. On our Sun, convection cells are about the size of Texas. On Betelgeuse, a single convection cell can be bigger than Mars's orbit. These massive lumps of rising and sinking plasma distort the star's shape, causing it to bulge, twist and flicker. Astronomers have even observed that Betelgeuse is not perfectly round. Its surface warps like a slowly rotating molten ocean. But the instability doesn't stop at the surface. Deep inside the star, the fuel it needs to survive is running out. Each new stage of fusion becomes shorter and more unstable than the last, forcing Betelgeuse to burn its remaining elements at an increasingly frantic pace. The star is essentially shaking itself apart, losing mass, shedding gas and drifting further into chaos. This instability is the clearest signal that Betelgeuse's time is running out. The star is not simply aging, it is unravelling. In late 2019, astronomers witnessed something they had never expected to see in their lifetimes. Betelgeuse, normally one of the most dominant beacons in the night sky, began to fade. Not slightly, not subtly, but dramatically. Over the course of just a few weeks, the star's brightness plunged by nearly 25%. For a star that had been stable for thousands of years, this sudden dimming was nothing short of alarming. Telescopes around the world turned toward Orion. Was Betelgeuse finally reaching the end of its life? Was this the long-awaited warning sign of a supernova? For months, scientists analysed every fluctuation, every spectral shift, every temperature change they could detect. And the more data they gathered, the stranger the situation became. One line of the evidence pointed to a colossal mass ejection. An entire chunk of the star's outer layers blasted into space, cooling into a thick cloud of dust that drifted between us and the star, partially blocking its light. Other observations told a very different story. They hinted at enormous convective cells on Betelgeuse's surface cooling down unevenly, creating vast dark patches larger than our sun. But when these clues were combined, a clearer picture emerged. Betelgeuse wasn't simply dimming. It was undergoing intense internal upheaval. Its surface was swelling, contracting, heating and cooling in chaotic cycles. Its outer layers were becoming unstable, rippling like stormy seas. The Great Dimming wasn't a random event. It was a symptom of a star struggling to maintain balance in the final stages of its evolution. For astronomers, this moment was a revelation. Betelgeuse had shown, for the first time in recorded history, how violently and unpredictably a massive star behaves as it approaches its ultimate fate. Deep inside Betelgeuse, far beneath its turbulent surface, lies the true engine of its instability, a dying core running out of fuel. In the life of a massive star, each element it fuses marks a countdown toward destruction. Betelgeuse long ago exhausted its hydrogen, then quickly burned through its helium, carbon and neon. Now, its core is fusing heavier elements in rapid, increasingly unstable cycles. Each stage lasts less than the one before it. What once took millions of years now takes mere months or even days. 
This frantic chain of fusion reactions creates a layered interior that resembles an onion. Shells of different elements burning simultaneously. But this structure is fragile. As the core contracts under immense gravity, temperatures soar to billions of degrees, forcing the star to expand and pulsate violently. Gravity pulls inward with overwhelming force, while radiation from fusion pushes outward with desperate intensity. Neither side is winning, both are losing. Inside this chaos, the core grows heavier and denser as it fills with iron, the final fatal element. Iron cannot release energy through fusion, meaning the star has reached a dead end. The moment the core becomes too massive to support itself, gravity will overwhelm everything. In less than a second, the core will collapse at one quarter the speed of light, triggering one of the most powerful explosions in the universe, a supernova. Betelgeuse isn't there yet, but it's close. Every pulsation, every temperature fluctuation, every strange dimming event is a reminder that the star is nearing a point of no return. We are witnessing the final stages of a giant that has only one fate left. Predicting the exact moment a star will explode is one of astronomy's hardest questions. With Betelgeuse, we are fortunate to watch a giant in its final act. But final can mean anything from tomorrow to tens of thousands of years from now. Current models and observations give us windows, not dates. The star's recent behaviour, pulsations, mass loss, odd dimmings, all point to it being in the last stages of massive star evolution, but they cannot tell us the precise second the core will fail. Astronomers talk in probabilities. Some scenarios place Betelgeuse on the verge of collapse within years or decades if its core is already fusing the heaviest elements and the iron core is tipping toward instability. Other models, accounting for remaining fuel and internal structure uncertainties, push that timeline out by centuries or millennia. There is also a non-zero chance that Betelgeuse stabilises for a while and continues to wobble for a long time before the final collapse. So what would we see if Betelgeuse did explode in our lifetime? The answer is spectacular, but physically harmless. A nearby core collapse supernova would briefly outshine the moon, possibly rivaling or exceeding the brightness of the full moon and remaining visible during the day for weeks. At night it would cast distinct shadows and be unmistakable, a new brilliant point of light in Orion that slowly fades over months. Before the flash, neutrino detectors on Earth would register a burst of particles hours before light arrives, giving astronomers an early warning. Importantly, despite the drama, Betelgeuse poses no significant threat to Earth. It is too distant to cause harmful radiation effects. Instead, its death would be a unique scientific bonanza, an opportunity to study nuclear synthesis in real time, test supernova models, and watch the birth of a compact object, either a neutron star or, if the core is massive enough, a small black hole. In short, we cannot give a date, only a likelihood. The star is old, unstable and closer to death than most, but whether its final act occurs tomorrow or long after our grandchildren is a question the universe keeps to itself, until the moment it chooses to reveal the truth. Betelgeuse is more than just a bright star in Orion. It is a cosmic giant nearing the end of its life, offering a rare chance to witness the final stages of a massive star. Each flicker, pulsation, and dimming teaches us about stellar evolution and the forces shaping our universe. If it explodes within our lifetime, it will be visible even during the day, a spectacular reminder of nature's power. Even if it takes thousands of years, observing Betelgeuse now gives us insights that can help understand other stars and supernovae.
In the end, Betelgeuse reminds us of our place in a vast dynamic cosmos, where even the mightiest stars live, struggle, and eventually die, leaving behind lessons written across the sky.